Hey guys, it's your girl Carolyn Gray, and I am taking a moment from my busy work day, letting you see the um, the dress from 2014 that I am still able to fit into. So, what this video is about is to share some more of my weight loss or weight maintenance tips, especially for you ladies out there that are over 50, like I am. I am 58 and I will be 59 in February, so um, I am just amazed that it's been as easy as it has been to lose the weight and keep it off. Because yes, I'm not always this size. Um, I am, you know, within a nice range of this, but there have been some times where I was really showing out and eating pizza every um, every Friday night, drinking Red Bull um, every Friday night, like not just a 12 ounce can, but like at least 20 ounces worth of it. Mm. It was such a waste. And then I would eat a big handful of um, double bubble or chew, uh, you know, a big handful of double bubble bubble gum. It was, it was really bad. I was showing out. And especially when the kids went off to college and little Debbie's became my friend and I would eat two of her nutty bars um, while I was watching Dr. Phil in bed after dinner. So yes, majorly showing out and started to gain weight and wondered if um, I should just really give up because, you know, I was in my 50s and there are a lot of ladies in my age group that just said, eh, you know, uh, I'm gonna let my hair gray, I'm gonna lose the weight and that's, or gain the weight rather, and just let things just go the way that they are. They stop exercising, they stop wearing, you know, clothes that um, might make them feel as youthful as they'd like to be. And so I just said, that's just not me. Mm. I mean, the gray hair, some ladies look wonderful with it. I don't think I look wonderful with it. I can't um, wear a lot of the age inappropriate clothes I love to wear. So for me, I would prefer, you know, to keep my hair dyed and to um, to be as slim as I can as long as I can because I know I'm operating in a little window where um, it's going to close soon and people won't assume that I'm my son's um, sister or that we could be together as a couple. Someone told me in my um, younger son um, that uh, we're a cute couple. Oh, he hates that. <laughs> because he's 27 and he'll be 28 soon. But um, I told him, I said, this is not going to last much longer. It helps that he's, you know, wearing a beard right now, but, um, but it's all a win for me. And it's just such a blessing for the little girl that grew up, you know, as a little chubby chubster um, in the projects of Augusta, Georgia. So that's not who I am now. I'm the 58 year old that would love to think that she's fit, strong and healthy. And um, those are the goals that I have as I march towards 60. Ah, I can't believe that that's where I'm headed, but I am. So almost everything that I'm doing is very intentional because I'm trying to lay the best foundation that I can before I get into my 60s because you don't want to go into your 60s all busted because you'll be on all types of medications and you won't be able to do things. So if you want to be as youthful and fit and strong as you can be, um, regardless of your age, whether you're 30, 40, 50 and beyond, um, I have some tips for you. Okay, all of that to say, um, what's in your pantry? You know how like um, Capital One used to say, what's in your wallet? What's in your pantry that you can get rid of? Because a lot of times um, the secret to getting some of the extra weight off could be with what you're keeping in your pantry and how you're actually eating it. But the first thing really is if you were to drink more water than any other drink and if you just add it in a 10 minute walk every day you would lose weight you'd be amazed what a difference um, that could make in your life and I believe that it could be life-changing for you so I suggest you try that even as you listen to some of the other tips I'm going to say just do a little bit more than what you do every day and you'll see a difference so like I said drink more water do a little more walking add some activity 10 minutes a day commit to that you can do it you may not feel like working out over two hours a day like i do five days a week but you might feel like doing 10 minutes after dinner you can do it um let me know how that works out for you okay back to mm, 
what I was saying. Okay, so look in your closet and or your pantry and figure out things that you no longer want. Okay, one of the things that I realized that I no longer want, um, I used to waste a lot of calories. Like at three o'clock, I have a fruit snack. Um, and I literally mean fruit, not artificial fruit snacks. Um, like I was eating a Granny Smith apple that was cut up. But what I was doing was putting some of um, Marzetti's caramel dip into a bowl, heating it up in the microwave. You know how they do in the fall? Um, you know, like you dip the tart apple in there. And so I was doing that and adding extra enough to, um, to cover up or to dip the entire apple. I started off with these little cups um, and one was not enough. I would have to do one and maybe pull some from that container. And I did notice that, um, you know, I wasn't losing weight, um, like say maybe five pounds jump as fast as I wanted to lose it. But I had to have that. You know, I'm like, I work out, you know, I fast on Mondays until six. I do intermittent fasting. Why can't I have some caramel with my apple? So. Um, what made me decide to give that up was the fact that I had to have a meniscectomy last November um, because my leg decided it didn't want to straighten out anymore. And so, um, but I realized, um, I'm like, okay, you can't exercise for a few months and the doctor told you you can't run. So do you need these caramel dip um um, single things or even do you need this big tub because I would get some extra from the tub um, and heat it up in a bowl for that one apple um, which was a complete waste of calories so to keep me from gaining weight while I recovered from surgery I stopped using that and after a few months I actually lost a taste for it so these have been sitting in my pantry because I thought I was gonna eat them on the weekend but I don't want to eat them on the weekend and I've outgrown that habit so I am going to to throw them away. I know that probably seems wasteful, but these don't need to be in my pantry anymore because they don't contribute to the bottom line of me wanting to fit in clothes like these um, year after year. That's my goal. You have to be clear and intentional about what your goal is. Another thing that's in my pantry, like I don't really eat chips on a regular basis, but I have these lime and jalapeno ruffles that are in the closet um, that I bought um, a couple of weeks ago from Walmart. And so these are on hand, not for me to eat them in the afternoon, like say at four o'clock as a snack before dinner. Um, their purpose is for the rare night Night where I decide, you know, I don't feel like cooking. I'm going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I use on whole wheat bread. I don't eat white bread. Um, and so like say if I made a peanut butter and jelly, um, and right now I have some baked sweet potatoes in the oven, so I could have a baked sweet potato. I could have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I like chunky. Um, peanut butter is so good, and I go light on the peanut butter. I don't just put a bunch of it on there, and I go light on the jelly. I don't just put goobs and gobs of jelly on it. Just one one nice little peanut butter and jelly sandwich and one sweet potato and then if I wanted to I could have some of these but they're not for just general snacking it would be like a meal like maybe once a week or a couple of times a month or something and so that whole wheat bread that um, I just showed you by nature zone I forgot to say I think it's only like 50 calories no, it's 60 calories a slice so make sure if you're getting bread um, if you can stand the taste, get the lowest calorie um, version of that that she would want. And then also, like years ago, when I would like, you know, add a few pounds here or there, um, I would eat like barbecue chips in the afternoon for a snack. But no, not today. Your girl's in her 50s. So I keep a pre-mixed um, container of nuts that have like Brazil nuts, um, almonds, walnuts, macadamias, and cashews. And so what I do is I get a handful, like what can fit into this hand with it closed, and I eat that at four o'clock as my snack. It helps to stabilize your blood sugar. It's great for your cardiovascular system, and it gives you just a hint of salt. I buy nuts that um, don't have any added salt, but it gives you just a little bit of salt where you feel like you've had something, you know, um, instead of like, say, 
popcorn that you put in the microwave that has goops of gobs of chemicals and you know fat and cholesterol or whatever so um, it's about the choices that you're making and then speaking of choices it's so funny there was this man I ran into in a grocery store and he really got on my nerves because there was a time when I was really showing out and I was eating um, honey buns, well, the Intamin's version of it on the weekends. And so to get around it, I would like cut just the sweet part off the top and then like maybe the sides and I would throw away, you know, the bottom part that was most of the bread. And this guy saw me in line because I had two of them because they were on sale. And he said, I can't believe that you even eat those. And I want to say, look, buddy, who even asked you? And he says, yeah, you know, that you aren't even, you know, that you're not heavy, you know, and you eat those. And he was like kind of salty because he was a little heavy and um, he had a bunch of healthy stuff. And I said, well, look, sir, you know, I work out. So I'm thinking I deserve a treat. And he just kept making such a big deal. So I haven't had any of those um, in over a year. And I think that it's really helped me. So even when you don't like to hear what people are saying, sometimes it's good to listen to unsolicited advice. Um, and so the only reason I bought it was for prop because um, they had some at the grocery store today. And so I just wanted to show it to you because sometimes little um, changes can make a big difference. And that did make a difference. And also um, standing up when people try to entice you to do things that you've committed not to do. Um, like my husband, on Fridays he'll say well why don't you you know have this snack or that snack and I said I don't eat snacks um, on the weekdays and he says well it's Friday I said I don't eat snacks Monday through Friday so you notice I talk about eating treats on the weekends um, those are my cheat days I still do the intermittent fasting where I don't eat before 12 um, but you know I can like, extend it to like maybe 9 o'clock 10 o'clock or whatever but Monday through Fridays we don't eat before 12 we don't eat after 8 we don't eat sweet treats so I don't care who's offering it to me unless maybe I'm on vacation I might make an exception but you have to stand strong Wrong. So um, that allows you on the weekend, if you're working out and you're being really good during the week, like when you splurge and buy um, some goofy pecan delights that you really have no business eating, it's not the end of the world if you decide to eat some over the weekend. So it's really like a little game of give and take and deciding what means the most to you and trying to get the most bang out of your buck. And even though I told you guys about that peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I might eat with the baked sweet potatoes, I'm thinking that I'm leaning towards making some cabbage to go with the sweet potatoes and then maybe some Polska kielbasa to go with the cornbread. And also I have some lima beans that I just pulled out of the freezer that I made a few weeks ago. So, I mean, that's a weird combination. I know, but it tastes really good. And the cornbread comes from a restaurant that actually puts corn in it it's so good but um, again no sweet treats during the week your girl is drinking water um, I do intermittent fasting I work out so there are a lot of different things that I'm doing to get the result to be able to stay in my clothes year after year you can do it too but only you can come up with that specific plan for you. It's not Weight Watchers, it's not Nutrisystem, it's not Ozempic or anything like that, you know, where your face might change or, or your butt might change. Um, you just really want to be intentional and spend some time thinking about it and start with a question of what's in your pantry and I believe it can help. Now I got to get back to work and figure out whether I'm going to make those cabbage for dinner but before I go I just wanted you guys to see the wonderful shoes that I'm wearing that only one person has really seen today but other than that I hope that it helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. But until the next time, I hope you guys have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.